Today we're going to talk about the Once Upon a Book Club box and we're going to do an unboxing as well as talk about how you can make one of these for your books because I'm telling you subscription boxes are like the next awesomest thing and people want them. I'm Lisa and welcome to my Cozy Mystery AuthorTube channel where we talk about all things related to cozy mystery writing. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every Monday. Now today we're talking about the Once Upon a Book Club box. I'm going to do a quick unboxing for you. This box, if you are not familiar with it, is available on CrateJoy as well as on their own website. Now this was $34.99, so not too expensive. They also charge $9.50 for shipping, which brings it to a total of $44 and 49 cents. So let's just check out what's inside first. So we're all talking about the same thing. And then let's talk about how you can make one of these with your own books. So it arrives just like this, no extra packaging around it. And it kind of looks like a book once upon a book club. And over here, these are little lines drawn to look like pages. So let's go ahead and open it up and this is their instagram hashtag and it looks like we have a book plate from the author which is just a sticker little quote from marilyn monroe and an inventory of everything that's in the box as well as dates that you can join them on facebook and instagram to talk about different parts of the book and the author will actually be on instagram april 6th so Here's the book, The Beautiful Strangers. Uh, I think this is a women's fiction book. It's 100% doesn't look like romance. Uh, it's set in 1958 when they were filming Some Like It Hot over at the Hotel Dell, which is so funny that it's actually right down the street for me in Coronado. So it looks like she ditched her family because their restaurant was failing in San Francisco came out to San Diego and took a job at the Hotel Dell so she could watch the movie being filmed, which was her fantasy because she's a big movie buff. That's my general impression just from reading the back. So let's see what else is in the box. Um, page two, I think, I don't know if that says 285 or 235. Oh, this is definitely not either of those. Open your gifts. So there must be a little thing inside of here that kind of prompts you so you know when to open the things in the box. No, there's not one for the other one. So um, let's see what's inside. Yes, I'm opening it early. And it says, it's to Marilyn Monroe at the Hotel Dell from Arthur Freeman. And we have a cute little letter in here, Dear Miss Monroe. So uh, let's see what else we have. Book Club Perks from Once Upon a Time, or Once Upon a Book Club. Uh, so 20% off if you want to buy something in their shop. And I guess just another quote. And Kensington has some exclusive downloads for people who purchased this particular box. All right, so page 72. So this is cute. Let's try to get this off. It looks like a sunglass case nice with a extremely cheap pair of sunglasses. I don't mean that in any way. I can just tell. I think they're just like uh, joke sunglasses. I don't think they're meant to actually be worn because they feel, I know you can't feel them, but they feel really cheap. Like they're going to fall apart any minute. Um, but they look cute. So they're supposed to, I guess, be like movie star sunglasses. Um, but I really like this case. It's very useful. Uh, all right, so page 121. Let's see what's inside of here. And it looks like a, what is it? I'm gonna guess it's a picture frame that you hang up with a set of strings over here. You can put anything you want in there. And then you have page 170, which is harder to open. I should grab scissors. Okay, there we go. And this looks like a 
Marilyn's kimono. So very cute. So I don't know if you can see this. It's a little short sleeve blue and pink flamingo looking kimono. I'm guessing it's just one size fits all, like a big house coat. Does it have a size? It doesn't have a size. I have plastic on my thumb. So if you want to create one of these, the first thing I would suggest is going to Create Joy. They have a free course on how to offer a subscription box. And inside of there, they will talk about different vendors on where to find the boxes, tissue paper, how to ship things out. So all of those logistics are covered inside of there. The other thing is that you are going to have to order a bunch of your books in bulk. So whether that's through Ingram Spark or that's through Amazon KDP. And again, if you just want to validate this idea, you might want to just order 50 books. You don't have to do an all out crazy order of a thousand. You could just try it out with a few, see how it goes, maybe even 10 if you're worried. But again, the lower you go, the more expensive the materials will be to put inside the box. But I would see the validation period as maybe just a loss leader to see if this is even something viable that your readers are interested in. Now, the second thing you're going to want to purchase is a Sharpie pen of your favorite color or a metallic pen or a glitter gel pen. And the reason I say that is because the whole point of getting a physical book from the author is that it's signed by the author because not everybody can go to a writing conference. And even if they did, maybe they want something cool like this that has a bunch of awesome things in it. But either way, they still want the book to be signed by you. So why not make it pretty? Don't worry about a book plate. This had a book plate in it, but that's probably because it wasn't feasible for the author to physically get them and then ship them out again because books are heavy. But you'll be doing this at your own place probably, unless you're a huge operation and you can outsource this to a fulfillment center but we're not there yet. Uh, so the third thing that you're gonna need is some swag, something cool, something fun, some obviously a bookmark. You might want to have a notepad, maybe a small clutch. Um, I think pencil bags are really popular, planner folios, maybe even a planner. Uh, I have a separate channel on how to make planners, but just suggesting that you give people something useful with your branding on it if it's going to be swag so that they'll be more inclined to use it versus tossing it in the trash, which I do see happening a lot with swag where people are just way too busy with trying to advertise themselves with things that maybe aren't very pretty or don't even work. So put some thought into getting some cute swag, especially that goes with your branding and with the book that you happen to be sending in your book box. The next thing you wanna think about is you need three items from your book. I would pick something in the beginning, the middle, and the end. So jewelry is always a great thing. You know, same thing if you're writing your book right now, you might want to think about writing those things into your book so that you can give them out later. Uh, so those are things you can do just like this book add little um, you know, bookmarks inside of your book, little post-its that say open up you know, page 142's gift, and then you can have all these things in your box, which is very cool and very fun, and obviously these things sell out, so lots of people are interested in these. The next thing that you want to get usually is something that is something they can eat, some candy, maybe a tea, or maybe some instant coffee. Um, sometimes I've even seen one author just give out Amazon, not Amazon, Starbucks gift cards. Nothing wrong with that. It's cheap, it's light, it's easy. So when you think about putting things in the box, think about light things, right, for shipping purposes. All right, so let's just recap that list really quick. The first one is I said you should sign up for the free course on CrateJoy on how to send out subscription boxes. Even if you aren't going to send it out every month, it has a lot of great information about logistics. The second thing is you're going to have to order some of your books in bulk from Ingram Spark or Amazon KDP or wherever you have those printed. The next is you're going to have to get something cute so you can sign said books, whether that's a Sharpie or a glitter pen or a metallic pen. And the fourth thing is you're going to have to pick some swag that fits your branding or fits with the book to go inside of there. And the fifth thing is you're going to pick out something from the beginning, middle and end, light things, cute things that you can add into your box. And the last thing is you want to pick out something sweet or maybe some tea or coffee that you can add into the box 
that obviously, in theory, would go along with reading. All right, let me know in the comments below um, other book box ideas that you have, and maybe we can all collectively think of other cool ideas that we could all do for our books. I hope everyone's having a fabulous day, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.